It's Tuesday morning, and on Sunday, I introduced a buddy to brew and beer, and we brewed a red ale. Final gravity was 1054. I'm sorry, the post-boil gravity is 1054. Um, we're looking for an ABV of 5%. We um, followed a red ale recipe. It has a malt bill that it consists of Maris Otter, uh, some Munich, some crystal malts, some caramalts, and some interesting hop choices uh, like Nelson Sauvin and um, American hop Amarillo. And then there's a pretty big dry hopping bill. Uh, I can't remember all the hops on the list without looking at the recipe. Anyway, we brewed. It was a good day. Um, we pitched around 4.30 in the afternoon with our yeast, California Ale Yeast, WLP001. And uh, I was walking out to the car this morning, and I could hear the chest freezer gurgling. So I want to show you guys what's going on. About approximately almost two full days of fermentation. Excuse the hands, sorry. That gurgling is this blow-off hose. If you're not familiar with the way this is set up, if you're new to brewing, this is the cap, this is the thermal well, there's a little probe. Let's see. I'll take it out for you so you can see. See that guy right there? That's the probe. Goes down into a steel tube that's inserted into the cap. That's sanitized. And it takes the temperature of the wart. And this is a blow-off hose, just silicone hose, half-inch hose. And I put it into a smaller three-gallon carboy over here with sanitizer solution. You can see it's bubbling away. Um, I like using the blow-off tubes. I rarely use an airlock anymore. It's just good insurance. I don't think we're going to see this one actually um, blow any yeast off into the extra carboy. But just in case, it's all set. Um, what you might not be able to see it down here, the carboy is wrapped with a firm wrap, just an electric resistance heater with some electrical tape. And this beautiful ink bird controller over here sets the temperature, gets too hot, turns on the freezer, gets too cold, um, turns on the heater, and it keeps the temperature within your temperature tolerance. I use about, I give it latitude. I give it about a degree. Um, so nothing's overworking. Um, I think I used to do a half a degree. I don't know if it actually makes a difference. Um, but yeah, look at that beautiful Krausen. It kind of smells like bread bacon in here, guys. Um, smells really good. That gurgling sound is amazing. It's going to be a great day. All right, guys. Um, there's really nothing else to show on the video. Just wanted to give you that quick little update on this beautiful beer. And I uh, hope you have a beautiful rest of the week. Stay hoppy.